In this tutorial, I will illustrate the steps needed to make a reminder note with scotch tape affixed to be used in any graphic project. I'll be using Inkscape version 0.45-1. Let's begin. First thing we'll do is we'll change the background color. We'll give it a dark gray. That should do. Next we'll start drawing some scotch tape. Okay, we want the scotch tape to be a couple shades off of white, light gray. We want to give it a stroke and our stroke will be white. Okay, for the fill, we want the fill to be about 75% transparent. And we want the stroke to be about 50%. And we want to make sure that the stroke width is about one pixel. Okay, now we want to take the object and convert it to a path. And we want to add five nodes. So we'll just go ahead and add those. That'll do. And then holding the control key down keep it straight, we'll move in every other one, and that gives us that rip effect that scotch tape has. We'll do that to the other side. We'll pull it in. Okay, and that's the basis of our scotch tape. We'll change the scale slightly. And we'll move it to the side for later. Next we'll draw some paper. Okay, now for the paper, we'll use something a little lighter. change its opacity to full and we'll turn off the stroke okay we want to make sure that our scotch tape is to the front rotate it slightly here okay we'll duplicate this change its rotation just slightly. Kind of give us that random look. Okay, next we'll draw a shadow underneath the lower right corner. Grab our Bezier tool. Okay, and we can adjust the nodes be fine and we're going to change the thickness of the stroke okay we're going to get this pretty close okay now we need to give it a blur effect Two should be sufficient. And we'll make it just a little lighter. If we hold the shift key down and grab our color tool, grab a little lighter gray. And then we want to send the shadow to the bottom. That kind of gives us an effect of having that lower right corner pull out a little bit. Okay, now we'll include some text. Okay, 
way. We want to change the text font to something that looks more like handwriting. I have a handwriting font. If you have something similar, you can use that. Okay. Change the size of this just a little bit. step and there you have it there's our note thank you for watching I'm he the next